Let's get on with the details of those stories now. It's been hours, but police are yet to make any arrest after two police officers sustained gunshot, uh, gunshot wounds after renewed chieftaincy clashes at Polkatanga in the Upper East Region. We're told by our correspondent Albert Sorry earlier on news death the two officers were allegedly shot by unidentified persons when police moved in into the Atoba Bisi suburb to control a riot between the two factions in the long-standing chieftaincy dispute. The police is yet to confirm or deny that, but what, uh, to deny what actually triggered that fight. Correspondent Albert Sorry is following up on this story. He joins me on the phone with more. Hello, Albert. Hello, Gifty. So the police has not been able to make any arrests, and these are police officers who were shot. What are they saying? Yes, so um, one, they are saying that um, because of the nature of uh, this dispute and the potential violence that uh, you know usually comes when people make certain comments, they are holding on because of the investigations they are doing, but also because these two injured police officers uh, will need to give them information about um, exactly what happened mm. so that uh, th that will also give them lead to continue with the investigation and possibly be able to tell uh, who uh, possibly shot at them. And that yeah. is why they haven't made any arrests for now. Right. And what's the situation of the police officers who sustained gunshot wounds? Yeah, so, uh, again, they're saying that um, one of them had uh, quite serious injuries and he just had an x-ray taken as part of um, medical exams on him to tell uh, what line of treatment uh, to give him but we are told he is in uh, stable condition despite the serious injury that he had mm. the other one um, we are told that his injury is quite minor and he's likely to be discharged later today so let's talk about the substantive issue, the substantive matter that's, that has led to this violence. Um, we understand that it's a chieftaincy dispute, but what really is the background? Yes, so the background is that uh, since the year 2014, um, there are two royal gates, um, both claiming the right to the Bolgatanga chieftaincy skin. And, um, you know, from time to time, these two royal gates uh, have clashed since uh, that year up to this point. Uh, usually, uh, police gives very little information. One, because they feel that um, continuing to highlight some issues will just create some more tension, which might lead to further violence. And so, um, this particular instance, we are yet to be told, uh, given any information as to what exactly sparked the violence. But what we also know is that the two families don't live too far apart. In fact, this afternoon, uh, I was in the area, you realize that the two uh, palaces are not too far. It's even less than 200 meters apart. So you have security there acting as some sort of a buffer between the two houses. So the potential is that if two different people from the faction uh, get a confrontation, it is likely to uh, spark some, some uh, sort of uh, violence in the area. And so uh, this is just the background to the background. The issue. To yeah. and, and, and do we know what actually sparked the violence uh, uh, yesterday? Yes, again, um, the police said that they were called and told um, that the two factions were pelting uh, stones at each other. And the fear was that if, if police didn't move in early, it could get very bad. What we don't know now is what actually caused them to start uh, the pelting of the stone. And again, police um, are holding on to information for now, uh, so we are not able to tell. But this is just the information that we have. Mm. Again, um, it is believed that it's due to the long-standing chieftaincy misunderstandings between these two factions. Uh, they were um, sort of rioting, basically, and throwing right. uh, stones and other things at each other before police moved in. And then there was a gunshot that ended up injuring uh, two of the police officers. Do we know what the situation is right now in this, uh, in this neighborhood, in this community, where the factions are, are, are not very happy with each other? Yes. Uh, so uh, this afternoon, uh, I've been to the area. Uh, one thing is that the, the suburb is located in the commercial district of Bolgatanga. So 
Uh, you have one major street uh, running through the community, which gives um, a lot of people access to other parts of the town. What thing I realized today is that because of this recent uh, you know, disturbance, a lot of people are avoiding that street, um, mainly because they are afraid anything could happen at any time. And then the residents themselves, a lot of them are not even outdoors. Um, I don't know if they are indoors or they've left the area, but you realize that that particular place is um, almost deserted. And then you have security presence in the area. The police are patrolling the area. And then I saw one uh, military armored vehicle with some military officers on it also patrolling that area, especially uh, this particular street where you have the two palaces not too far from each other. From each other. Has there ever been curfew in this area and uh, what's the security or what are the security officials there saying? I'm talking about the uh, RECSEG or if you like uh, the, the, the municipal uh, assembly if that's what it is. Well, because the uh, investigation is still uh, ongoing and the police have been giving us information, uh, we, we cannot tell um, uh, what line of action they will take next. But there's no, no curfew has been announced. Okay. Uh, in, in one of the times when there was a uh, serious incident and people uh, were killed, uh, a sort of curfew was imposed. Even though it wasn't uh, announced officially, what happened was that the military in the area were asking people to go indoors as soon as it became dark. Okay. So a lot of people took it to be a curfew, even though the RECSEC never um, officially announced it. Uh, the uh, tendency, I'm guessing, from what I observed in the area, is that people will most likely just stay indoors today um, because of the fear that they naturally have that uh, this thing has happened once again and for their own safety. Uh, they will have to, you know, stay indoors to stay safe. Thank you very much, Albert. Albert Sori is an Upper East Regional Correspondent bringing us up to speed on that riot that, uh, uh, in which two police officers were killed uh, in Bogatanga. We're keeping an eye on it. The police has not made any arrests yet, but we're keeping our eyes on it. We'll bring you the update as and when we have it.